Now that we've imported the Oculus integration and we saw how to use the Unity Asset Store, we're going to start creating our scene and we're going to add objects to it so we can create our virtual experience and then from there we can start creating our application. So the first thing that we want to do right now is go to the hierarchy, which we said in previous videos that it contains all the current objects in the scene, which in this case is our main scene right now. So there's this object called my cube that we've added just for illustration purposes and we're going to delete that so if you right click on it it's going to show the settings for it and just click on delete now what we want to add is a floor to our scene so we can add the character on top of that and the character can move on to this floor so just right click 3d object and we're going to select one of the basic templates and just click on plane from there we're just going to name it floor and as you can see the floor is completely white and that's because it comes with the default material here in unity each object has materials or a material and then this material basically is what the objects gonna look like it's kind of like the texture of the object so what we want to do right now is we want to create a new material so we don't have to use the default one for the floor so we're just gonna go here to our assets and just right click on assets or on any folder where you want to create your material it could be anywhere and just create and then just click on material as you can see it creates a new material let's just call it my material and from there you can make a whole videos and a whole series just about materials and shaders and other stuff but right now what we're going to do is just create a basic material and you don't really need to understand everything here uh, I'm just going to show you how to create a basic material just by creating a new material and then from here you can just change the color of it and as you can see down here you can see a preview of this material so let's make it grayish like this okay now that we're done all you have to do is either grab it and put it onto the floor object up there like this or you can simply just drag it onto the object in the scene window and it's gonna have the same result so as you can see here now it has a different color and the material is different and if you click on the object you can see that it went from default material to my material Next, we're going to take a look at the transfer component of the floor object. As you can see, the transform tells you the position, rotation, and scale of the current object. So what we want to do is recenter this floor in the middle of the map. Right now, it's at this position, but we want to put it at 0, 0, 0. So we're just going to put 0, 0, 0, and as you can see, it centers it and changes the position of it. Now that we're done recentering it, what we want to do is import something called the OVR player controller. And this is part of the Oculus package, and that's going to have the, all the tracking necessary for your hands and for the headset. So what we're going to do is go to our project tab here and just search OVR player. And you're going to see you have OVR player controller, this object right here. So what we want to do is just drag it onto the scene. As you can see, it imports it into our scene. And you can see that the player is half under the floor. So what we want to do is change the Y component and put it higher so it's not under the floor anymore. So let's change that to 1. And as you can see, now it's above the floor. After that, what we want to do is go to the OVR player controller component of the OVR player controller and then what we want to do is enable rotate around guardian center right here and this is going to enable the character to rotate around the center in, instead of changing the position of the player every time you rotate next what we want to do is add the hands 
So you want to go here to the project tab and search custom hand. And as you can see here, you have custom hand left prefab and the custom hand right prefab. And just to clarify, a prefab is basically an object that was made and saved in the files and you can use it as many times as you want. So I can import this hand into the scene. I can use it to import as many hands as I want and it's just ready there for you. And it has all the components attached to it. So we're gonna go to OVR player controller and as you can see, it has a button under it because it has certain objects under it. So, and then we're gonna expand OVR camera rig, the tracking space. And then you see the left hand anchor and the right hand anchor. And these objects are the ones that track the left and right hand location. And that's where we want to add our custom hand left and custom hand right prefab. So we're going to grab the custom hand right prefab from here and just put it onto the right hand anchor. And as you can see, it puts it under it. And we're going to do the same with the left hand anchor. After that, what we want to do is grab the OVR player controller. And that's after we have the custom hand left selected from here. As you can see, it has the OVR grabber component. And we're just going to grab OVR player controller into the player thing right here. And we're going to do the same with the custom hand right. And then the last thing that we're going to do is go to the OVR camera rig. And then for the tracking origin type, instead of eye level, we want to do floor level. And that's going to enable the headset to be tracked. And the program is going to adjust the height of your character, depending on how far your headset is from the ground. And now that we're ready, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build this application that you have so far, this simple one, and how to test it on your Oculus Quest.